Good morning, folks. We've got seismic activity, the hurricane, a new solar mission, a penguin out of place, and an excellent study on space weather and human health. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where we had a dramatic drop in solar flaring over the last day. Still have coronal holes covering a significant fraction of the disk. There are multiple plasma filaments as well. All have been very quiet here the last day, so where we'll start is with the CME that was expected to give us a glancing blow this week. It arrived last night, and the multi-component shockwave has delivered two weak impacts. While Aurora flooded the Arctic skies, we did not see geomagnetic storms develop. Wake effects will continue today. Here's the X-ray flux showing how the flaring has dropped down to mostly C-class range. This is happening because the sunspots that were flaring have lost magnetic complexity. The bigger equatorial group near the center has had the magnetic mixing decrease by half. Still not much of it to the left in the trailing position. And over near the limb, those spots do look like they could have some potential, but indeed, they have also been calm for the last several hours. Quick look at seismicity. First six-pointer in several days hit the west coast of South America. It's exactly what we discussed on this show after Blood Echoes hit the region two days ago. Luckily, Chile is used to quakes, and this one was very far south. Up next, we're looking at the hurricane, where forecasters are now predicting the most unusual of tracks in the Gulf. Not one really ever seen before. A loop-de-loop -loop in the southward finale. While the multi-model look is a bit more all over the place, if the storm goes west, then loops south, it will be one of the most unusual tracks ever seen with a hurricane. Bit of good news up next, Proba 3 is ready to roll. It will deliver non-stop looks at solar energy delivered to Earth, which should hopefully help the climate folks get their act together. Don't exactly hold my breath on that one. Up next, we're at the Ocean Beach in West Australia, where the record for an Emperor Penguin's northern vacation has been obliterated. They've never seen one so far north, and folks, we've discussed similar animal beachings in this area and how it tracks right along the north-south division of ISO lines connecting to the south magnetic pole, which is also quite close to that location. Best first guess is that the bird is lost magnetically. Last but not least, excellent paper on the effects of space radiation and microgravity on the human body. Most interesting is the space radiation portion, which is also relevant for us on Earth as the weakening magnetic field allows in more cosmic rays, and they found considerable impacts on the heart, including upticks and arrhythmia. Folks, you'll definitely want to come out and see us. Winter rates are in effect. Thanksgiving event tomorrow. Next mini conference is November 30th. And our first special guest is coming December 14th for UFO Day and the pre-solstice party. We'd love to see you in person. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.